All right, guys. So today we are back with yet again more Assassin's Creed 4 Should be easy to Black find. Flag. For today's episode, I don't want to waste too much time on the introduction. I was actually hoping I would record earlier, but, you know, I got a little caught up today. So we're just going to get straight into it. Now, before we do, I want you guys to kind of explain to me if possible without spoiling anything. Because I understand everything that is going on in this story. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about, a little bit kind of confused is who the heck are we playing with? When it comes to, you know, modern day in, in Abstergo, you know, like, who are we? Because Desmond, there you go. You Either. know, unfortunately, he passed away. Um, but now it seems like we're just with a completely different character and we're in a different facility. Um, I don't know. It's a little strange. But uh, here we go. Another great episode in AC4. Man, I am loving this game so much. And thank you guys for the love and support on the series. It's... I'm having a really good time and I love Edward as a character. I love him so much as a character. I think he's super cool. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. So wait, where are we supposed to go? We're supposed to head to floor 15 CCO. Oh, you're Hello? Hi, testing, testing. Is this thing working? <coughs> this is John from I. I thought she was coming with us. We met earlier. I, I was calibrating your animus. I'm sort of the uh, Scotty of this Abstergo enterprise, in charge of all the tech stuff. Do you have a minute? Oh, ah, oh. oh, damn it! The tracker says you're on your way to Olivier's office. Ah, all right. I'll ping you when you're done. I have a favor to ask. I wonder why why they went with the whole first person perspective here. Bonjour. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Oh hi, thanks. You don't mind me? Just checking this place out. Oh, look at that how cool. <laughs> this is so cool. I've never been to the Ubisoft offices, so I I wonder if this is what it looks like. And I like how you could just go anywhere, really. In reality, it's kind of open. Versus the the previous ones where you, you're pretty much wrong? forced to go in one certain direction. It looks like you can go almost anywhere here. This is really cool though. This is probably just showing off all the artwork that went into this game. And who are you, sir? Oh, well, this guy. Well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the. But this is, but this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies, Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. <sighs> wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. Beautiful city, no? Well. So the main reason I asked you here concerns is something called the observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en I wouldn't bother. But some big wigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can. Oh. Incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, oui, oui. Tout va bien. Naturellement. Oui, oui, bien sûr. Okay. Like, I thought I could get something from him. Bon, d'accord. Uh, what is this? 
Oh, dude, I thought I was gonna be able to jump up there and just escape. This is crazy. What was it, man? So, is this the same building? What are these things here, too? What is this? Sticky note 19. Into the gray. The digital frontier. The singularity. The space in which she dwells being both made of light and the embodiment of darkness. This we call the gray. Being that we are the instruments of her will. Instruments of her first will. The original will. We submit this cradle to the world. By the way, I realized and I seen and I realized after you guys told me, of course, the ship that we have... Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Sure, dude. Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you, too. What? To reach your colleague's workstation. Okay. Yep. A locked door. Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do, too. Don't abuse it. Uh. Log on and I'll walk you through this. This feels a little illegal here. I'm just saying. Cool. Now, you need to bypass the core to find the data inside. Once you reach it, your communicator will download it automatically. You need to find your way around the core to reach the data inside. Oh, shit. You cracked it. Good. The file should be downloading. I set up a database for any data you find. Just look for the My Files section in your communicator, and you'll be redirected right away. Everything you download will be found in there. Uh, protected by a firewall, of course. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and, I'm told, proceeding with exceptional ease. Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. Damn. Holy cow. Post more. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it, Desmond! Sample recovery team reports detailing the collection of subject 17 remains to be used in the sample 17 project. December. Well, oh, he died when December. December 23rd, 2012. Sample recovery. Oh, that's when they unit. found it. Okay. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby. Come on. See that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, who you could. But it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend this never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. So... 
So we, if we acquire those computers, we can get some of the background information. Interesting. So I was saying, you guys are telling me in the comments, and then I realized upon reading the comments and you know putting one and one together, um, or what is it saying? Putting two and two together. Yeah, that the the ship that we navigate as Edward is the same ship we play, or, or that we the same ship we navigate as Connor in Assassin's Creed Three. No, no, no. I followed that recipe to the letter. It's an art, Sean, not a science. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. No. She's great, isn't she? What are they doing here? What are you hey, doing? I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. Doing a job. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. What are you guys doing here? What, what, what is this man doing selling coffee? Oh, dude. See, none of this would have made sense if I never played the last ones. I would have been like, okay, whatever. What, what was the point of this? But, uh, yeah, so Connor's ship is the same ship that belonged to Edward, obviously, and Assassin's Creed 3 being several years after AC4, the ship was wrecked. So eventually that leads us to believe that that ship will, in fact, be wrecked. Assistance au niveau 2, projet Chantillon 17. Support to the second floor sample 17 project. I don't know. I find it so interesting. What's going to happen to her ship in this story? Hmm. Anyways, let's just get to work, boys. It's time to go back to being a damn pirate. Ooh. Oi. Where are you going? The market? No, I... My parents have asked me to come live with them. And I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life. All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Damn. Oh. Shit. Wake up, can we? We're back, baby. That's about. He left this morning with the galleon, as faith we'll discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. I will make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. <laughs> Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Upon mine honor, let me know if you find anything. So you're, you're telling me we don't even keep the man of war? Oh, come on. That's bogus. Oh, this is so freaking beautiful here. I was gonna go and upgrade my ship. You guys have been telling me to upgrade it as much as I possibly can, but apparently. Ooh. Odd looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. A 
Okay, so we've got our puzzle here. Investigate the Mayans. All your senses. Look past shadow and sound. Deep into matter. Until you see and hear a kind of shimmering. A shimmering? You understand? I think so. Okay, so climb to the top of the like before. Glowing like moonlight on the ocean. Oh shit. Oh, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? To see sounds and hear shapes. Quite a combination. Hmm. Interesting. Oh shit. Every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. I've had this sense most of my life. Only I thought it was related in some way to my dreaming or the like. Most never find it. Others, it takes years to tease out. But for a rare few, it comes as natural as breathing. What you feel is the light of life. Of living things past and present. The residue of vitality. Come and gone. Any man's senses can be tuned well past what he's born with. If he tries. So he's saying he's had this sense since he was a child. That's interesting. You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I have something else to show you. I feel like the story is only going to start getting picked up from here on out. I'm just saying, okay? I found something else just here. I think we'll take this secret much faster. That's cool. Now this has the makings of a mystery. It's good, isn't it? Only wait till you see what lies at the end. You know, as a child, one of my dreams was always to be a pirate. Um, I don't know. I just... The whole idea of like being at sea and shit like that. I know it's dangerous and it's crazy and it's not as beautiful as people make it seem in movies and video games, but it's just a cool idea, man. So this is why I love this game so much. The lore behind it is so fascinating to me. Are. What do you think? I think Monsieur de Cass was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. Hmm. What do you suppose lies at the top? Hey, you're telling me we can't open up these chests? Are you crazy? This is the biggest tease. From what I knew of de Cass, wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Or a pair of anguish. <laughs> oh. Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. That's one. Only four left. Aye. Oh. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could. If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. So this is our little sanctuary now. Okay. And this would be Templar hunt, gain money, medium. Gain money, medium. I don't know if we're supposed to. How do we even access this? Meet with James Kidd. So how do we access that? That map we were just in. Seems to be a pistol there. 
Now, one question, okay? This office is beautiful and it's it's amazing, truly. Congratulations, Mr. Edward. I am so fa freaking happy for you. But seven upgrades are currently available in the captain's cabin. Whose outfit is this? I'm trying to figure that out. That can't be. I don't know. I, I probably will look extremely stupid here, but whose outfit is that? I want to. I don't want to say the wrong name just in case, because I rather seem like I don't know what I'm talking about than say something and sound completely stupid. Um. So yeah, whose outfit is that? Looks familiar, but I'm not 100% sure. But I like that. This is pretty much they're doing the same thing they did with us uh, in Assassin's Creed 2 with Ezio. When we would go and collect all those, uh, or do all those little side objectives, and then eventually collect um, Altier's outfit, which was really cool. Um, but yeah, I like that. Now let me go to the pause menu real quick, and Edward upgrades, Jackdaw upgrades, appearance. Hmm, I think we need a little bit more armor here so we need 2000 what is this cannons ram strength round shot strength okay so forefront uh, chase cannons that allow your ram strength swivel strength mortar okay so this is all available at the shop so we're gonna go to uh, appearance we're good there go to edward sword set outfits banish uh damage speed damage oh this is good 6500 though honestly i don't know i think i'd rather upgrade the ship for right now like that's way too expensive god this is such a freaking beautiful island look at this man shit oh my god this is so freaking beautiful so we're gonna head to um should we upgrade the ship what's more important i feel like a lot of you have been telling me that this game is very heavy on like naval, you know, uh, combat and stuff like that. So it feels like, feels like probably upgrading our ship is, it's going to be best. So. Leaving already. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. My pirate's kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made man. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. Imagine back in the days. <laughs> no phone calls, no anything. Hey, just meet me at so and so latitude and etc. And uh, I'll see you there later. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That just seems a little crazy to me. But again, it's something that we're not used to, so it's like Chinese, right? Anyways, um, before we get into our destination, I want to see what the heck this word, is. Sir. Is this some sort of side mission? Where do we have the uh, uh, West Indies Sea? Cove upgrade. Cove upgrade. Okay, hold on. You have a moment. I be needing coin to set up the shipyard cap. The faster I have the needful gold, the sooner our ships will rule the waves. Okay, so this is Harbor Master. Uh, this upgrade unlocks the Harbor Master and Edwards Greats in Guana Hideouts. Should we? 500. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Very nice. Well, 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 what do we have here now, man? So the Harbor Master has been unlocked. Uh, let's see what What do you be needing today, then? So this is like a shop. Let's see. Oh, and this is for the ship. This is perfect. This is exactly what we were looking for. So we can do um, cannons, confirm, or front chase cannons that allow for a large fire and stun power. Okay. And we also need metal. Is that metal? A round strength. Perfect. Okay. This round shot uh, deals large amounts of damage. Chain shot strength. And we need to buy all this stuff, dude. There's just no way. And then everything else, we're just, we're just pretty much broke right now. Like, this is, this is a little crazy, okay? Very nice. I want to say that upgrading the ship is probably going to be more important than anything else. It's just, it just seems like that, you know? Wrong bit of business, that. What do we have here? Captain Kenway, a moment. I'll not play duck and drake with you, Captain. I need coin to build a little emporium. I'd be ever obliged. And a local shop would bring in many a useful ware for you as repayment. Okay, so this is... This upgrade unlocks General Store and Edwards Great Inagua Hideouts. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I don't got the cash. <laughs> I, I, I will be back eventually, guys. Okay, I'll be back. This is our homestead where... We're gonna be here. We're we're definitely gonna upgrade this place up. We're gonna upgrade our ship. We're we're gonna we're gonna be totally fine. Your boys just gotta go back to the seas, and uh, you know just make some money. Cause yeah, we're kind of uh, we're not doing too hot right now. Okay, so wait, do I have to go in here? Oh, won't you look at this? What the hell? Change equipment. Sword sets. Oh. Edward's sword. Four and three. Is that the one we have now? Oh, this is Altair's sword. A pair of swords, uh, once owned by the legendary assassin mentor Altair. Oh, man. So what we have now, Ezio's sword. Damn. Fuck. Okay. So we can change our outfit here. Oh, and we can also upgrade here as well. Outfit ship. Oh, this is cool. Can nobody tell me about this? So where are we supposed to head? Is it just start sailing or what? Captain has the helm. Oh, okay. So leave this location. Sail to the sea. So I really didn't even need to upgrade that place. Boy, Captain, we found a trove of nautical maps and ledgers and the like scattered about the village. You'll find them sorted in the captain's quarters of the Jackdaw. Quality stuff. Nautical maps and ledgers might come in useful we decide to build up a fleet of our own exactly my thinking captain have a look for yourself and tell me what you think. oh okay well well as per usual we're always one step ahead of the game so we sometimes got to do shit double oh, interesting access to fleet kenway's fleet okay so this is the naval map southern british colonies Press A, selecting a safe route. Um, okay, so first business. We'll unlock Charles Tone, Southern British Colonies, St. Augustine. The Spaniards are thirsty. Set sail for St. Augustine and bring five bottles of good wine to the old village. Be careful. Merchants there can be impulsive dealers. Select the ship to confirm. Okay. Ship depart. Yo, this is crazy. So navigating Kenway's fleet. Use I'll be to navigate. Hold on. Success. 
What? Gulf of Mexico. Ship battle. Hold on. Diplomacy. We'll unlock Rio de Janeiro. Gulf of Mexico. This port is crowded with traders from all around the country looking for best quality wine and other trading opportunities. Okay, select mission. Okay, ship departed. A good deed. Also, this is like sending assassins in the other games that we played. Ships in progress. Okay. The fleets. Hmm. The naval map. Set to battle. Interesting. Odds of success. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh! Uh. Oh. What is going on? <laughs> Uh, okay, well, that's that's not bad. Okay, good, good, awesome, great success. Pause today, Captain. It's a fine day for any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'd be a happy man. Sp hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta make sure we can go there the right way. So, here we go. True Welshman, Ade. <laughs> and what's your aim? Master Kidd hinted at a prize he was eager to show me down in Tulum. Quite some distance, mind, on the Yakutan Peninsula. You trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. He has a way of picking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set a course for Tulum. Nice. Okay, so should we put our ship... Let me see, can we fight this guy? Ah, this is cake. This is cake, baby! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, this is gonna be a blast. This is gonna be a freaking blast! Okay, so we can do this one too, right? Oh, that's a level zero. Oh my god. Okay, so we should be close, relatively close to our destination now. You guys sing a little bit. I'm this awkward silence is killing me. All right, we're here. Nice. Well, that's that. What's in here? Nice little chest. Somebody died here. Oh man, getting these chests is so worth it. Hold on, we're gonna have to climb up here better. Remain undetected, don't kill anyone. Oh, it's one of those missions. God, I hate these missions. You know why I hate them? Because I always fail. Oh, these are assassins! Oh, God. Mental be just be ready for anything. Templars men know our whereabouts now. Walpole. Isn't that right? The Englishman. Ah, he played us from the start. Betrayed our confidence. How could we have known? Even Atabai was taken in by his charms. I saw a ship pass this way, close upon the shore, then gone. Atabai warned us. Templars are closing in for well on a year. Indeed. The Templars make noise with their comings and goings. I've not heard a thing just yet. You will. God, I'm so nervous. Fuck. This is where we finally get to meet the assassins. This is so cool. Or, or so I believe. I, I could be wrong, but... I mean, how are we going to tell them, listen, I, I kind of killed a couple of you guys back in Havana, Cuba. You know, it was misunderstanding. I'm sorry, but. All right, so this guy's going to turn around. So is this guy, so. Oh, crap. 
gonna have to go this way. Alright, good. As soon as he leaves, then we should be A-OK. -okay. That's right, just go. I'm not gonna do anything. Oh, crap. Perfect. Undetected. Undetected. That's right. Professionals at work here. Let's climb up to this rock here. We should be good to go. I'm so nervous. There's an assassin down there. Oh god. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen so many of these guys in one place. Except possibly maybe Assassin's Creed 1. But even then. I mean, remember, the assassins are all over the world. It's not just one place. It's worldwide. The worldwide thing. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Go, 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 go. Excellent. Come this way, dude. Come on. Come here. Perfect. Very, very nice. Alright, so I'm gonna rob you guys real quick. I'm sorry. I don't mean to, but you know, I'm a pirate. At the end of the day, I gotta loot some stuff and <laughs> I got a ship to upgrade, which, believe it or not, it's quite expensive. Alright, so hopefully this one doesn't see us. Wow. That was risky, dude. Holy cow. Oh my god. Come on. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck. All right, so we've got a sniper over there. <laughs> this is a little bit crazy. What the fuck is she doing there? Or he? Are you crazy? What are you doing here? Are you friends with Jesus the assassins? Christ. You led me into a mess. Is it the Oh, this is wild. We're on to something. Feel it. <gasps> Captain Kenway. What is the assassin Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. 
but it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. Mentor? James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Yo, what the hell is this? <laughs> Not a word. Come on. Bro, sh shit is that crazy. Mr. James. Okay, so optional objectives, loot treasure chest. That's fine. Almost, almost got them all. You walked me blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atavai. An assassin. My mentor. You're, well, an you're all part of some daffy religion. We're assassins and we follow a creed, aye. But it does not command us to act or submit. Only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. Ah! Yo, so Kid is actually an assassin. The way forward's blocked. That's a door, right? What a damn plot twist. There should be some way to open it. The mechanism somewhere. Like a capstan. Oh. I can't believe Kid is an assassin. This is incredible. Holy crap. So that's why Kid wanted us. So it's you lot then Templars have been chasing them. Until you came along and mucked things up, it was us chasing them. We had them running scared. They are beyond me. Because they've got the cube. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you, kid, but you're kind of slow with this parkour stuff. I'm not even an assassin, and look at me. Oof. Nice. Okay, so swim up to find air pockets. Oh, cool. Holy cow. Okay. You're still drawing breath. Enough to curse you with, kid. God damn, this game is so magical. Everything about this game, guys. I'm sorry. Everything about this game is just amazing. Like, I love the lore. It's, it feels like Uncharted in, in, inside an Assassin's Creed game. But playing as the pirate. I don't know, man. It's, it's freaking cool. Must be a great treasure beyond. Treasure? Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll depend on you. How's that? What I'm taking you to see may spin your head right round. I only hope you can take the shock of it. I can handle myself. Hmm. Well, we're about to find out, Mr. Edward Kenway. Oh, isn't this fascinating? So is is kid gonna show us the way of the assassins? Huh? Could it be the Apple of Eden? <gasps> Oh shit! I'm fucking hyped. Is this it then? The grand prize your mentor asked me to see. Looks nothing like the man they call the Sage, I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. With one more riddle to solve. 
So where do I climb? These statues are like the ones we've seen before. The pictures carved on them. There's pictures carved on the floor as well, but not of the same sort. There's a correspondence there. But what? What is this? There's a difference between them animals on the statues and them on the floor. Do you see it? Hmm. Aye. One group is predators. The other is prey. Which predator goes with which prey? That's the question. Right. There's your correspondence. Match a predator with its prey. Oh, because we can also do it on this side. So we go and climb this. This will lift that up. Correct? Yes. Okay, and now... I can bring this over here. And this will go down. So now I can put the red... Ah, I see. Perfect. Alright, great. So now I'll lift this or climb on top of this and it'll go down to the red where it belongs. Holy crap. Well, ain't that some shit. Okay, so now we've got the blue. Let me on to you, will you? So I'm gonna lift up the green. Okay. Lift up the green. And then both the green and the blue are lifted. So then I just gotta move the lever. Let me on to you, will you? Perfect. So the green goes there. Okay. him the sage but this thing must be hundreds of years old older still you're certain it's him aye it's the eyes that mark him did the templars say why they wanted this sage they drew some of his blood into this small glass cube like this one aye they meant to ask him about the observatory too but he escaped huh we're finished here. Well, no shit. Wow. So Edward Kenway finally meets the assassins. What the hell did I just see back there? Jim. Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, aye. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that why we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention and take fewer lives. Oh, is that up? Yo, shit, it's getting crazy. The blowpipe. The blowpipe is an efficient silent ranged weapon that can use to sleep and berserk darts. Uh, you can purchase darts in general craft uh, stores or craft them from your inventory. So sleep darts, uh, put your enemy into sleep. To sleep for a few seconds, equipped it, aim, shoot, press Y instantly. Okay. Use them darts on this one coming now. Quick. Quiet and effective, see? 
Absolutely. <laughs> Prisoners freed. Oh my god, this is fucking glorious. You've seen this temple? It's massive. Aye, I'm wondering if it's full of gold and jade and the like. Oh, zilash. Touch bahesh if you tell Wuniko Mac I'm a catchy. Has to be, don't it? Where else would the Dagos get it? Pull it out of the ground, aren't they? I knocked him out instead of putting him to sleep. Which I believe would be a big difference. Alright, so I'm going to take this guy out first. So I'm going to go inside here. Got a couple of prisoners in here. Put up the chest. Thank you. Oh, I think this guy's suspicious. Be a little suspicious. What? Good. Oh my god. Hey. You alright? Gotta be off to Ah, damn the kid. He's gotten away. Oh, here we go. God, this is nerve wracking. Perfect. Don't mind if I do. So I have no more ammo. That's 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 what's happening here. I'll Many free thanks, you guys. No we got some more darts. Let's go to the top section here. He's off, mate. He ain't got nothing on us. We can do this. Free this one here. They got perish. He's ever up as a key. Excellent. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I will right, we'll take this one out. This is fucking insanely good. <laughs> it was a slaver who brought these soldiers. You guys are good to go. Did I climb up here? There seems to be another. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, I don't think so, bucko. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go here and uh, sync this shit up real quick, guys. Gotta do this. We are assassins. Man, oh man. Right, so we've got another guy over there. Oh! You're dead. Or not really. Just kicked you while you were down. See, I like these assassins. I don't give a crap. Yeah, that's right. 
I am a pirate indeed. I am a pirate assassin. Climb up through that? Probably can't. Yeah, I thought so. How about this way? Can I climb up through here? There's a chest up there. I mean, I don't necessarily have to loot it, but it sure would be nice. There's so many prisoners we have to free right now that... The thing we should be worried about at least is... Freaking chest. Alright, good. I don't even think this is the way to the chest, honestly. <laughs> This way. Here we go. 174. I love these sleep darts, man. This is clutch. Excellent. Assassinate him. Hell yeah. Okay, so we've got a couple up there. Nice. And he's got no idea what he's gotten himself into. I don't think this guy right here does either. Right, so we've run out of darts. Nice. Now that's 11 out of 14. Zero casualties so far. So far, pretty damn good. Okay. So looting has become suddenly a whole lot better because now when you loot, you actually get darts. there many thanks brother perfect nice come on I need more darts damn it fuck um let's see let's see got a guy over here actually you know what yeah we can go to this one over here seems to be one of the more simple ones Oh god. Fucking hell. Okay, I'll loot you up. Thank you, sir. So, this is it. What does this one do? Berserk darts. I think that probably makes him go, makes him go crazy. Um Fuck. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if this guy comes around. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna loot you. Please give me some sleep darts, man. Come on. Fucking hell. What does that do? <laughs> Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is awesome. <laughs> what the fuck? Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lauren's Prince, living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, 
You have remarkable skills. Thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant, prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Damn. Well, I thought that was gonna go a bit better, but... Cheery much. bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause. She... To be blunt, James. We kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like the Cass's dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Aye. I'll show you. So James has, obviously, James the male name, but his voice is a little so on the soft side. So it's like I always get confused. James, is, is it a girl? Is it a guy? Someone clarify me the name. James Kidd. I would assume it's a guy. It's just probably a very young guy. <clears throat> but anyways, point of the matter of fact is that James knew that we were in a, that we were the assassin imposter all along because you know James has been part of the assassin. So as soon as he's seen us, he's like, all right, this is the guy that's been you know pretending to be one of us. Um, I don't know why it keeps telling me this. Mission 4 complete. Optional objectives. Use sleep darts and guards. Use a berserk on guards. Perfect. I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> oh, I then see. work these contracts around the West Indies for us. And we'll pay you. As simple as that. Oh, that makes sense now. Now that makes sense. Okay, so we can head this way. So I thought by meeting the assassin, everything, you know, the assassins, everything was going to go good in gravy and obviously freeing their prisoners. I thought we were going to be okay, but apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. You can now fast travel to the teleported, uh, to be teleported to a location you've already visited. That's our ship, right? Or is that the... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Open this up. Got some metal. We have got another one here. Perfect. We've got something else over here. Nice. Nice. I like how you can use these little boats to just travel to your ship. I find them very convenient. Genius, in fact. Okay, so do we have to go... Where the hell do we go? I gotta speak to this guy. Hmm. Hold on. Decline. Let's go down below. And go inside here and see if... Hmm. So Kenway's fleet. Mission report success. Nice. Resume. So our ships came back successfully. And holy cow. Okay, 92%. We'll send this ship out. We'll send this one out. Perfect. And New Horizon. 71%. So, can we repair the ship? Ah, eh, let's send it out anyways. Fuck it. Great. Let's see. Outfits the ship. Buy. Jackdaw upgrades. Got 2,000 now. So, we can do Mordar. Should we do more armor? We don't even have enough. Hmm. 
can do the mortar, new items and purchased. Um, and then the uh, copper swivel guns allow the jacktail to deal larger amounts of precision damage. Perfect. I feel like eventually, eventually we will be welcome there. I don't know. I've got a good feeling about it. Just, just not now. First business has succeeded. Access Kenway's fleets. Okay. So we've got a couple of new upgrades. We have uh, arrived at the Assassin's Assassin's Island, if you will, and uh, well, a little, you know, not as bright and beautiful as I imagined, but. Uh, we realized that James Kidd has been an assassin the entire time, undercover, knew that we were the imposter assassin. Um, but since we kind of knew Kidd already, maybe, maybe that's why, you know, Kidd was leading us on to certain things throughout the story so far. And now we know why, but I think this is in fact the end of the sequence. So when we set sail to the, ne uh, the new location, I believe we will be in fact, um, in an all new uh sequence which would be sequence number five so guys i hope you enjoyed it I, I this game is fantastic i'm loving every second of it it's so fun it's so cool and um i just cannot wait to keep playing it for you guys so thank you i hope you enjoyed and uh i hope to see you guys here on the next one as always and with that said i will catch you guys on the next one